Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to transfer files from your old iPod X to your Mac using a cable. So we have iPhone 4s running on iOS 7, iPad 2 running on iOS 9.3.5 and iPhone 6s Plus running on iOS 14. For iPhone 4s and iPad 2, you will be needing a 30 pin dock connector. These cables are commonly used for charging and syncing your iPod X and for iPhone 6s Plus, it's the same uh, lightning connector. And if you're using a latest Mac, you'll also need a USB to Type-C OTG adapter. Connect the USB end to the adapter and plug it into your Mac and the other end to your iPad. And if it's the first time, you will see a prompt on your iPad asking to trust the computer, tap trust to continue. Give me a few seconds, I'll just plug it into my iPad and we are ready to go. Okay, now open the finder in your Mac. Uh, I'll just show my screen and yeah now on your mac open a finder window you'll see your ipad listed under locations on the left sidebar okay here's my ipad so you'll also need to download documents app which i'll be showing you later in this video for further steps i'll be using iphone 6 that's because uh, my ipad doesn't support screen recording feature other than that, the procedure is same so first uh, let's download the documents app And here's the documents app. Connect your iPhone, click on trust, type in the password and click allow. Now your phone will be listed in under the location uh, sections. Click on trust. It will probably take a minute to sync your files. Now let's open documents app and all the files uh, which you transfer from your Mac will be stored on this iTunes files. Now go to the file session and here you will see the document app. Now to transfer files, just click on any file and simply drag and drop it to the documents app. You can see that photo has been transferred to your iTunes files and see you can see it on your phone. You can transfer videos, images, songs, documents, any type of file that is supported by your iPhone to open, you can transfer them. And once again, this procedure is same no matter what iOS or whatever device you're using. Even if it's an outdated old iProduct iDevice, the procedure still works. And now you can also save the photos or videos to your album. To do the same using AirDrop, turn on AirDrop uh, feature on and click on everyone in your Mac. And then go to the photo or file which you want to uh, share, click on share and click on the AirDrop you will see your Mac listed in other people. Select that and choose the location where you want to save your photo. So I'll just save it to save downloads. And see, you can see the photo of Mona Lisa has been transferred from my phone to my Mac. Now, if you want to do the same, that is if you want to transfer from a Mac to your iPhone, the procedure is the same. Click on share and click on airdrop. Now go to your phone from the control center, uh, turn on everyone uh, and the airdrop and you'll see your phone listed over here. Click on that and you will be asked whether to accept or decline it. Simply accept it and your file will be saved in the documents folder. Let's check it out and it's over here. And that's all. That's how you transfer files. So if you're using your old product, you can use a cable or if you're using a new product, you can use the airdrop or the cable. Thank you. Happy sharing.